Hello students, as we are seeing important questions from D and F block elements. Today's important questions are give reason type question. Come on, let us go and identify what are the give reason questions you can expect from the board. Yes, the first one, why do transition metals have higher enthalpy of atomization? Why do transition metals have higher enthalpy of atomization in 3d series scandium to zinc which element has the lowest enthalpy of atomization and why see atomization means breaking of compound into smaller particles in a gaseous phase that you have learned okay now here enthalpy of atomization means due to that enthalpy amount of enthalpy change so the bond breaking it will be easier yes now here in the mainly here two reasons we can bring it the first reason larger number of unpaired electrons larger number of unpaired electrons the second one strong interatomic metallic bonding strong interatomic atomic metallic bonding so actually we can mention these two reasons how do we say it's an unpaired larger number of unpaired electrons it is n d n 1 to 9 that means scandium to copper zinc it is completely filled okay and n s 1 to 2 so this is larger number of unpaired electrons so naturally due to that unpaired electrons it is occupying it is interconnecting with other atoms to form a metallic strong interatomic metallic bond forming okay now here which has the lowest enthalpy of atomization and why means zinc is having lowest enthalpy of atomization because it is completely filled there is no unpaired electrons zinc 30 means argon 3d 10 4s2 so it is completely filled it's neither donating nor it can gain so here that metallic bond actually weak metallic bond weak metallic bonding structure okay now in that one more point also they may ask zinc cadmium zinc cadmium and mercury or soft metals why that also they can ask same reason because it is completely filled in that outermost orbital it will completely filled so naturally the structure of that metallic bond it is soft in nature you can cut as a cake and one more point also boiling point and melting point also it will be lower the same reason you can provide why because it is completely filled there is no unpaired electrons the next question assign reason for the following it's so simple question and important also separation of a mixture of lanthanoid elements are difficult why and manganese exhibits highest oxidation state plus seven among the 3d series of transition elements already we have gone through in our first video but still it's very important and repeated question that's what i just bring it to you Okay, now the first question, actually, first question tells similar physical and chemical properties due to the lanthanoid contraction takes place, which causes a very small change in atomic and ionic radius. So, these are the three main points you can bring in. The first one, similar physical and chemical properties. properties due to that what happened lanthanoid contraction takes place lanthanoid contraction takes place now third point in that third point which causes a small change very small change 
in atomic and ionic radii right got it all these three points now the next one already we have gone through but still i would like to mention here manganese exhibits highest oxidation state plus 7 among the 3d series of transition elements here manganese atomic number 25 so 1 s to 2 s to if you go like that means a r 4 s 2 3 d 5 so outermost orbital there are seven electrons are there so seven electrons it's ready to contribute so it is actually plus seven oxidation state so among that series 3d series highest oxidation state it is plus two to plus seven oxidation state why because it can contribute that many electrons seven electrons can contribute but comparatively other elements cannot contribute in that way why because outermost orbital how many electrons are remaining there are seven electrons are remaining seven electrons also ready to contribute that's what it is highest oxidation in choose the correct answer also they may ask which is having the highest oxidation state in the 3d series like that they may ask hope you understood those two questions the next evergreen question number of times repeated you see transition elements and their compounds are generally found to be good catalyst in chemical reaction so transition elements are found to be good catalyst in chemical reaction why because there are three reasons are there first one it is vacant d orbitals variable oxidation state and the third point it is unstable intermediate products which is readily to form a main product okay now i'll write it one by one the first one it is variable oxidation state variable oxidation state the second one vacant d orbitals vacant d orbitals and the third point unstable intermediates unstable intermediates which is readily to form products readily to form products hope you understand all these three points why because variable oxidation state vacant d orbitals and unstable intermediates which is readily to form a products why transition elements are elements and their compounds are generally found to be good catalyst of in chemical reaction hope you understand this question okay now next question the next important question generally there is an increase in density of element from titanium to copper in the first series of the elements why see it's very simple it starts from scandium right 3d series starts from scandium in the first series scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper and zinc the question starts from titanium to chromium density increases why that is the question right so here on moving from left to right atomic radii decreases due to that nuclear charge increases right atomic radii decreases due to that nuclear charge nuclear charge increases right okay now as it is moving from left to right atomic mass is increasing i just bring it here idea density equal to density equal to mass by volume so as the density increases <clears throat> mass also increases mass is increasing more than the volume so density is directly proportional to the 
mass and indirectly proportional to that volume. As the mass is increasing, mass is increasing. So density also increases. Density also increases. Due to that volume decreases. Volume decreases. So you can get three answers. Mass is increasing. So that density also increases. Because of that volume decreases. And one more point. Here atomic radius decreases. Nuclear charge increases. So these are the main reasons you can bring it for this point. Hope you understood. Okay. Mainly mass, atomic mass is increasing so that density also increases. You can bring that point. The next question, complete the following equation. Even in our last video and previous video also, we have gone through the oxidation state very clearly. And they are giving like this question, half of that equation. That is also available as we mentioned that important questions of our first video. Yes, you have to complete the equation. Now, they themselves have given that number of all this. You have to write that another half. Okay, now the first one. Yet 2 MnO4 minus plus 5 SO3 2 minus and 6 H plus. So how many electrons are involved? Yes, we got it. 5 electrons are involved so that they have multiplied with 5. And how many oxygens are there? That many water molecules we have to add. 3 H2O and sulfite converted into sulfate. So, SO4, 2 minus and then MnO4 minus converted to Mn2 plus. Why? Because 5 electrons are involved. So, here that same here 2 Mn because here 2 MnO4. The same way 5 electrons are involving. So, here also. Now, 6 H plus ion. So, that half of that. H2O. So it is how many hydrogen molecules are there? That many H plus ion you have to add in the left hand side. I just mentioned. Please watch that previous video and another one more video. Complete idea. I have given that redox reaction. What are the rules you have to follow to solve this kind of equation? Hope you are clear with this that first question. Now the second question. This is very simple. Chromate converted into Dichromate CO2 O7 2 minus. Okay, now here how many H plus ions are there? Two H plus ions are there in the left hand side. That means half from the right hand side. H2O. That's all. Right. So this is the way you have to write. And one, one more point also. Here six H plus ions means in that half. Three H2O. Here two H plus ions are there in that half. H2O1. So, according to that number of hydrogen will be vary. Hope you are clear with it. Suppose if they are asking, already they have balanced that off equation. Another half you have to check it. So, the number of electrons involved, you have to check it. And the number of water molecules, how many you have to add according to that number of oxygen. You have to think all those points. Another same kind of equation and this also it's very important. See as you are looking at that equation only you will come to know what is the answer. Another half. Here 2 MnO4 minus how many electrons involved? 5 electrons. So 2 Mn2 plus and here 5 electrons no? 5 NO3 minus and how many H plus ion in that half? So, 3H2O. Suppose, if you are writing this side, 3H2O means 3 to are 6 H plus ion. In that way, you have to check it. Okay, another one. This also it is so simple. How many electrons involved? 6 electrons involved. That means CO3 plus. How many water molecules you have to write it? Another half here what it is? 7H2O. 7 to are 14 H plus ion. In that way. Hope you are clear with it. If you want to check how to write this redox reaction, so please watch the previous video so that you will come to know very clear idea. All those playlists I have 
given. So please watch those videos. Definitely you will get a better idea to write the redox reaction. Okay. The next equation, it is not balanced in the left hand side. You have to balance and complete the equation and it's very important also. Come on, let us go for the first and foremost, how many electrons involved? How many water molecules you have to provide? How many H plus ions you have to provide here? Here, what is the number you have to use to compensate? Okay, now first and foremost, Mn2 plus, right? How many here actually? Here 2 and here also 2. So 5 electrons involved means you have to multiply with 5. So here a, how many water molecules you have to provide that side means according to that number of oxygen atom. Here you have to provide 8 H2O. How many H plus ions you can bring it over here? Here 16 because 8 twos are 16. Now here how many carbon dioxide brings it right hand side? Here 5 because 5 electrons involved, you know. So multiply with 5 to compensate this equation, equalize this equation. So 5 C2O4 2 minus here 10 CO2. Please watch the previous video so that you will come to know the clarity. What are the tricks and tips I have given that oxidation state that point okay now that next one redox reaction tricks i have given very clearly please watch that video okay now the next one cr2o7 2 minus and fe2 plus plus h plus ion okay now cr2o7 how many electrons involved here actually six electrons involved so cr3 plus so six electrons involved means two threes are six Okay, how many oxygen atom according to that you have to write it water molecules 7 H2O. How many H plus ion according to that you have to write it here 14 7 twos are 14 H plus ion. How many electrons involved 6 electrons involved so here 6 Fe 3 plus. Okay, hope you are clear with this. Already we have done in our last video related to these points and all. Please watch it and you will get the benefit. Hope you are clear with that because this is three more question. Definitely such kind of question you can expect most important questions.